I'm a floating head. I'm a floating head. Floating head. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Woolly TV. Today, we've got the JS, part of the Baron family, the Black Baron 2.1. So it's a lot different to the other Barons, being the big Barons kind of better as a mid and it's a pintail. The other Barons, the red and the black Baron are quite short. This one is more of a performance looking outline and I've got the 511 34.2 and you'll notice it's got three plugs in it. So this one's designed to run, you can run it as a twin, but it's designed to run as a two plus one. For me, it will definitely work better as a two plus one, without a doubt. And I can say that because I've already snuck out and had one little surf on it already. I was away on a trip and I had a bunch of boards and I just snuck out for like 45 minutes, caught half a dozen on it. And for the first take on it, it's super loose, super free, feels unreal and holds really well. So it is a lot different to the other Barons. I've seen heaps of footage of Parker and a bunch of guys riding it, so I know what this thing's capable of, but I'm gonna ride a lot more, so I'll give you guys a proper review. So let's just go find some waves and get out there on this thing, and we'll be back. There's this little snippet of that review, the real one, coming through soon. Boo! One thing I can confirm, this board is very, very fast. The wide point's definitely forward of center. So even though it's not really looking like a 20, kind of has got that 20 front end on it. And it is a two plus one. So what it allows you to do is go super fast like you do on a 20, but that little trailer just gives a tiny bit more control. A couple of turns, I noticed I was right up forward on the board and projecting down the line, and that helps with the speed. Like I noticed um, just the waves were super quick and the board was keeping up. And I was watching a lot of the other guys on standard thrusters and they were going nowhere near the sections or the speed that this one was. So that was pretty good to watch that. Um, and it turns really well. 
unlike a normal wide tail, sort of like the Black Baron and the Red Baron, there's no way I'd surf waves like that on those two boards. I just would have been drifting off the bottom turn way too much. Whereas a little stabiliser, as I said, just gives you that little bit of hold, more like a thruster. And I was actually felt like I was surfing that board. It had the speed of the 20 and the manoeuvrability. Or free, it was freer than a thruster, less drag, but still had some hold. So, yeah, super happy with it so far. Can't wait to try it on my forehand. So thanks. See you soon. Yo. Weirdos. Let's go. It's happened again. I'm riding a 20, or it's a 2 plus 1, and I had this taste in my mouth like I was desiring a Yaks Milk Organic Frappe. And then this happened. Oh my god, it's happened again. The hipster twin fins got a hold of me. Oh no! Alright, jokes aside, all jokes aside, that was a hell of a lot of fun out there. I really like riding twin fins on that particular wave and I can understand why crew with long right hand point brakes or just any long waves that have kind of got different sections on them really like riding twinnies. I, I like this one a lot because it, I have run it as a 2 plus 1. So it gives you that extra hold on the bottom turns and a couple of those turns you'll just see that there's no way I could have surfed like that on a normal wide tail. 20. It's also got the bladey rails which really helps hold it in um, and I think I put it to the test then there was a couple of overhead sets and it was really bumpy and hard work it probably looks okay in the footage but reality is that was really tough so it was sick to see the board just go out on rail and hold all the way around through turns so I had a lot of fun so epic stuff cheers JS for another sick little 2 plus 1 to play with Yo. balls <laughs> it's nothing like being a goat. Love the way it's got this fuller outline 
It's definitely a performance twin. It's not a grovelly sort of twin that you ride in like knee high waves. I think probably best from waist high and up, but you can ride it in some substantial surf. I had a great time on that left. I really like the way it's straight and pulled in in the tail. That allows you to be able to do much bigger bottom turns on it than a wider tail 20 or a wider tail two plus one. And the other thing I noticed that I can ride it right up the front you can pivot from the front under the front foot you can drive off this wide spot that's up here and you can just accelerate down the line and then put your weight back onto the tail and turn it like a normal shortboard so it's got the best of both worlds it's got the twin fin feel but the performance of a of a thruster so big thumbs up for me um, and the, and this one was good too at 34.2 in the 511 it was no problems it didn't feel big at all i actually really like that volume for this particular board and seems to be a bit of a pattern that the 20s i can ride them a little bit more volume than my normal performance boards uh, love the pinch rails they're definitely not thick rails it's quite a rolled deck and really sharp through the tail as i said love the way the tail was pulled in it allows you to surf it more like a thruster love the wide outline up the front paddles really well and you can drive off your front foot on it before you step back so well done js great board really enjoyed it thanks for watching stay tuned plenty more coming straight at you like subscribe and comment if you got any questions thanks for watching you floating head floating head <laughs> floating head <laughs> oh i wish i could remember what movie that was